Yeah, yeah, they flew me out. They ended up flying me out there. Uh, I missed two flights at the airport. That song I got called Two Plays, I mentioned it in the song. That shit was uh, for real. I missed two flights trying to get down there. I almost missed the third one, but I made it. And uh, I got there. That nigga Southside thought I drove to that motherfucker. I like, nigga, nah, nigga, I was missing them flights, nigga, I ain't driving. <laughs> <out." laughs> shit, I got there. They was trying to, uh, I don't know what the nigga was trying to do at first. I was like, nigga, where the, where the studio is? I'm trying to go and handle it business. I'm going to get this shit in yeah, the bag. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that other shit. Mm -hmm. They're going to get this shit legit. Yeah. And yeah, I did all them songs and shit. And then next day I came and did some songs. Next day I did it. And then nigga walked in there with that paper. Free my and niggas on lock. Oh man, hey man, we got special guests here today, man. He don't really need no introduction. He the hottest nigga in the streets. His music is consistent. The, the boy Texas made in Texas raised. It raised him right. Check it, man. The boy with the best flow I done heard in a long time. Mm -hmm. My boy man, Waco Trump. That. Man, no, man, you dope, bro. Yeah, Real talk. Sure. I'm not for the play with it, nigga. I'm not gonna yeah. embarrass myself on here. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> God, man. So, man, no, man, but just, you know, um, Growing up and being from uh, Waco, Waco, how did you get the name Waco Tron, though? Uh, see, my nigga, Lonely, and my nigga P, my nigga PJ, I got that nigga name right okay. here. Okay. That nigga gave me the help because he used to tell me, uh, he used to be like, nigga, you sound like a robot and shit, nigga. <laughs> he was like some Megatron and shit. He wanted me to call myself Megatron at first. And he was like, nah, just roll with Waco Tron. And I see it. I just live it at that. It was like, That's shit, dope, man. Riding the hotel the wheels out there, bitch. That's dope, bro. Uh, and you been having that name ever since how old? Uh, with Waco Tron? Yeah. Shit, I was about 24. 24? About 24. And, 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 and you start? How, how old? When, when, when it was? About five years ago? You get about five? Five, six years. About five, six years ago, you. Yeah. Yeah, so Waco Tron, man. So, uh, man, um, being honest, like when you grew up, the music. How did you first know that you you could do this music thing? Shit, I don't know. That shit really like, cause I but, never, I never really took it serious until until my nigga back here. Uh, my nigga told me I had something. We locked up together and shit, and. Uh, Y'all nigga beating on the table. All this shit. You nigga beat on that table, nigga. We in the county with this shit. We in the county with this shit. I just, that nigga told me I had something. I got out, I tried it. I still wasn't fucking with it like he was. He was kept telling me I was lying. And then my big homie back there, he was telling me, like, they was forcing me in the studio. They was like, nigga, you need to go. Cause I show them niggas, I write this shit. And I'll be like, bitch, listen, listen to this right here. And they be like, man, that shit lie. You need to go put that shit on the uh, beat. I rap it with no beat, writing with no beat. Killing it. You know, see, I just put it on wax and see, it was that shit. That was I it. ain't look back at it since. So, so you've you been writing since you were a kid? Like earlier than no, that? No, it was nah, in jail. No, or you just no, started no. writing in jail? Uh, was you just in the county or the penitentiary? I ain't no felon. So you just went to the county? Yeah, I just did and numerous just, months in the county. And you, yeah, but good you didn't. <laughs> but I had already had shit. Time. I had already shit uh, recorded when I went in there. So I was just spitting that shit to niggas, and they were fucking with it. Right so, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you did it, man. Shoot, that's crazy. You were about to tell me. Um, so where did you get your musical talents from? And this shit came out the blue. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I did. I, I watched a lot of. I watched a lot of TV, sports, and shit. And then I just put that shit with what I done did, like the way I came up and shit. So see, it really be easy, to, easy to come out. Cause see, that shit ain't no lie. I just, see, I yeah, just, just know how to do it. Man, this shit just come out the. I, I was just telling these niggas, we was just listening to say, that new shit I got. I don't know where that shit come from, man. I don't know. It's just this shit just come out. It's in you. It's in yeah, me. because it's a talent because not everybody can flow everybody like can that. Flow like Man, that. Appreciate it. Appreciate but, it. But like, what I be now, and and tell me how this is this a misconception? My my nephew, shout out to Elijah and them, man, who love you. They were like, man, get, you got to get Waco Trump. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, I got such as that. I don't care, man. You got to get Waco Trump. Yeah. <laughs> but something they said, but when I look it up, I don't see nothing about it, so I don't know how they came up with this. They say Waco Tron is signed a little baby. What is that nah, about? Nah, nah, I'm signing a pick six records. So what, why, would, why would they say that, though? I don't know. They said they are wrong, <laughs> That's crazy, man. man. They said they are wrong, I don't know. I, they just think that? I'm like, man, how did y'all come up with that? Because that my my, uh, my nephew's, for some reason, that's how it came at me. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm going to ask him, how the hell? Because I couldn't find it. You know, I'm going to go look. look. I'm gonna, that's what I'm supposed to do with Nah, looking. nah, I ain't for you. 
So, but but Big do you have you ever dealt with them or anything? No, no. But why they? Maybe you just flow like hell, I like you supposed to be. Man, it just come out like this, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This so, shit. This so, shit just rough. So when you, when you first got into it, how did how did you get like just say discovered or how did people start to you know say you 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 hot and how did you get signed? You know. See, at first, you know, I've been dropping shit and like uh. Niggas really wasn't fucking with me at first. Like, niggas would make the little list and shit about the shit. Yeah, of course. I ain't never been on no list. Now I want one of them bitches to tell I got signed. But I still don't feed into that, yeah. all that old shit right there. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But, uh, me and my nigga Trees back here, the nigga in the, the baby, nigga in the red hat. Yeah, that nigga beast. We was at yeah. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> we was at Walmart and, uh, the nigga who signed me, my nigga Mo Silizzi signed my nigga Silizzi, he called me. And he was like, uh, man, I'm trying to get you down here. We trying to sign you. I looked at the nigga. I was like, man, you heard this nigga? He was like, shit, I heard that nigga. He was like, can you get down here tomorrow? We finna drive. We trying to, we finna. We Where, finna. Atlanta? Nah, L.A. Mm. Y'all finna drive to L.A.? Man, we finna. I did it, nigga. You can die like that. Man, we finna <laughs> drive. Nigga, that's a long way, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> we stopped. Hours, I had to go to sleep, we, nigga. We finna I, drive to L.A. I stopped in the, I was in the, we was in the Yukon Denali. I, I pulled that hole over. Sleep for a minute. For a minute. Nigga, I was tired for a time. minute. Yeah, twenty-two I, hours. Nigga, 22? I like to die trying to get. A, nah, yeah, we I wouldn't have made it twice, it. bro. No, it's like 23, 24. It seemed like forever, nigga. Yeah. yeah, we wouldn't have made it. We wouldn't have made it. <laughs> and more than half of it took to get out of Texas. Texas is a long, that nigga, oh uh, man. You say what? It's long. To get you out of get Texas. Out oh, yeah, this how big. Mm. And why I call myself Big Texas? Because <laughs> it's big, big. It was like 13 hours to get out of Texas. So man, Yeah, we wouldn't have made it. How did you get there? You flew up? Yeah, yeah, they flew me out. They ended up flying me out there. Uh, I missed two flights at the airport. That song I got called Two Plays, I mentioned it in the song. That shit was uh, for real. I missed two flights trying to get down there. I almost missed the third one, but I made it. And uh, I got there. That nigga Southside thought I drove to that motherfucker. I like, nigga, nah, nigga, I was missing them flights, nigga, I ain't driving out of them. <laughs> Shit, I got there, they was trying to, uh, I don't know what the nigga was trying to do at first. I was like, nigga, where, where the studio is? I'm trying to go handle the business. I'm going to get this shit in yeah, the bag. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that other shit. Mm -hmm. They're going to they get this shit legit. Yeah. And yeah, I did all them songs and shit. And then next day I came and did some songs. Next day I did it. Then nigga walked in there with that paper and shit. I ain't wait till later when you he came with the right. paper. You I'm talking right? Man, they were talking right. I'm not bullshit. You gotta be talking right. Man, say. Did you just say the paper and sign, or did you actually like uh, look I, over I, I everything? Scam, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna cap the I scammed through the motherfucker. <laughs> it was too many words. Legalities. It was too many <laughs> words. Legalities. I scammed you. through it. I scammed through the whole. I just, yeah, you, know, I just you, you, you just looked look at the money. You just look for the amount. I like, ain't look for it. I ain't. It was. It's about legality. I just really knew. I just really knew that shit was genuine with him. Cause okay, that nigga hit me up. Up and, uh, he hit me up in April. This shit was supposed to happen way in that, way before it did. I signed in October. It was supposed to happen in April. But that's when COVID hit hard and they started making us quarantine. And nigga thugged that with me the whole time. That's how I knew it was genuine. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. why I was like, shit, this ain't, I got to get on he, board. Did he just hear you over the internet and then that's how he locked into you? Uh, yeah, on Instagram, my cousin, uh, my cousin DJ. Shout out my nigga DJ. That nigga, uh, not this, well, both DJ, I had a nigga in the back named DJ T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that nigga, uh, he posted a, uh, a video with his car and shit, and then they had my song in the background, and Forge Auto Ace, the nigga who owned uh, own the rims and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He posted it on his page, and the nigga Mo, they real, they good friend, and he heard it, and that nigga DM, he was like, he, he was like, this you out here rapping and shit? I was like, yeah, yeah, he asked me what I signed, I was like, yeah, nah. And then he told me, send him, send him some more shit. I shot it to him right out the muscle. Damn, that's I ain't dope. even had no phone at the, I ain't even had no phone at that point. Wow. No bullshit. Man. A nigga real live from the floor with this shit. Yeah, yeah. Free my niggas on lock. They been hanging up the pistols with the toothpaste. Up the score, we ain't tying out a shoelace.